Chair. Madam Chair. Yes, Senator Markey. I thank you, Madam Chair. And I agree with your ruling on this, that it's not within the purview of this committee. Um, but I also think it's important for us to note um, that right now the oil and gas industry has 9,000 unused onshore permits on federal lands, and they're not drilling on them. And they have 1,500 unused offshore permits on federal lands, and the oil and gas industry is not using them. And they have 4,000 partially drilled wells. Right now, they're not using them. It's the size of Indiana that they're not drilling on right now, even as they shed crocodile tears about their inability uh, to drill. They already have all these lands, and they're not drilling, and the American people are suffering because they are not drilling for the oil and gas on those sites. So I agree with your uh, of your uh, parliamentary observation that it's not within our jurisdiction, but I also think it's important to have a panoramic view uh, so the Republican Party can see uh, that the oil and gas industry is actually letting down the American people uh, with the leases that they are not using right now. Madam Thank Chair. You. Thank you. Thank you. The, the uh, distinguished senator from Massachusetts was, was recognized to speak about the parliamentary question. But uh, let me just take a second or two to say that if he is suggesting that the Biden administration has not gone to war against domestic oil and gas production, then he is sadly mistaken, and every American realizes that. 